know, the thing about the, the scrapping the bankers bonus cap is it, you know, it's part of a wider agenda from this government that does prioritise relief to the wealthy over everyone else. And it's trying to, you know, desperately trying to get the economy going again by doubling down on a failed economic model of an oversized, deregulated banking sector, um, high asset, asset prices and bubbles and high household debt. So it is really sending a signal to the banking sector that the government's on their side. And that's quite concerning for us, along with some other announcement that Trust has made on potentially merging three key city watchdogs and also um, the current uh, financial services bill going through Parliament. They're looking to add a, a competitiveness objective, which would look to deregulate the city and kind of turn the clock back. So, you know, this is a, a kind of... There is a wider agenda here, which is pretty concerning um, around deregulating banking and, and finance. Um, and we know that didn't work well uh, for us previously.